أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد day 27 of the holy month of Ramadan we ask God to accept our deeds and to bless our intentions I want to start today's video before going to the elements of the supplication with a question why tawassul why seeking means when the Quran says, Wala wizra ukhra, And the carrier shall not carry the burden of another carrier. The answer is in the question. question. We're speaking about a burden here. Whereas tawassul is not for a burden. It's about seeking nearness to God. So it's not a burden. It's about seeking nearness to God. And that's the answer lies in the question. Yes. Nobody will carry my sins. I will not carry the sins of another. That is wizard. So, wala tazur wazira, wizra ukhra. This carrier will not carry the burden of another carrier. But when it comes to tawassul, I'm seeking nearness to God. I'm, uh, that's why it ends. And that is the difference. Today's application has the following four elements the virtue of Laylatul Qadr the power of the night of power destiny uh, changing of difficulty to ease the acceptance of excuses and the relief from sins and uh, burdens and then the Mantra Ya Ra'ufam Bi Abadihi Salihin. We see that in the Holy Quran, in one place it says, Inna Anzalnahu fi Laylatul Qadr. And the other one it says, Inna Anzalnahu fi Laylatul Mubaraka. Still no explanation. And then in the second verse of Surah Al Qadr it says, Wa ma adraka ma Laylatul Qadr. What can make you understand Laylatul Qadr? And then it says, Laylatul Qadr tried to explain to us. Laylatul Qadr khayrum min al fishar. Laylatul Qadr is better than a thousand months. And then in Surah Dukhan, it, tell, it tells us, Yufraku, fiha yufraku kullu amrin hakim. In it, all the affairs that are concentrated or singular or um, combined are divided and shared. Or everything is shared and put in its place. That is so. That is what we beseech God Almighty to grant us. That's why in the daily supplications of the holy month of Ramadan, we say, "Allahumma inni as'aluka fi ma taqdi wa tuqaddir min al-amr al-mahtoum fi laylat al-qadr." So on and so forth. Uh, oh Allah, I ask you uh, from what you decree. And what you um, and what you taqdi wa tuqaddir, what you decree and what you order, min al amr al mahtum from what is definite, fi laylatul qadr in laylatul qadr, fi laylatul qadr, min al qada al la yurad wa la yubadal, from the decree which is not uh, changed nor returned or opposed, and so on and so forth. And then the second part of the supplication says, uh, to change my affairs from difficulty to ease. We see that in Surah Al-Inshirah, or Sharh, we says, we, the, we, it's so good that we have a say, to say it twice. فَإِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَى for verily with difficulty is ease. Verily with difficulty is ease. I very um, much dislike the translation that says after difficulty comes ease. I do not like it at all. Because it says ma, which means with. Therefore, uh, it's not that when we say that uh, to change the difficulty to e to ease, it is not that this difficulty the things should be 
easy. Instead, it's that in the midst of the chaos, we should see the order. In the tunnel, we should see the light at the end of it. At, uh, with the dark cloud, we should see the silver lining. Also, is that while in the difficulty, we should see it. Or we should see the difficulty as an ease, meaning that we want to strength, we want to be strong enough to overcome, we want to be strong enough to, uh, to overcome and go beyond this without uh, backing down and giving up. Waqbal ma'adhiri, the third uh, element of this supplication. We see in Dua Kumail, we say, Allahumma faqbal hudri, warham shiddata durri. Here we have to understand that excuses are of two. They, they are, Udr fiqhi lil qasr. That is a jurisprudential excuse for somebody who has no power. Somebody who is traveling, has to travel, um, they can't fast. That's a jurisprudential excuse that we can't do anything about. But um, as we see many people doing be prior to the month of Ramadan, they go to the doctor's letter to get a doctor's letter just to excuse them of fasting. That is inexcusable. That is an excuse that cannot be accepted. So there are, the, there are two kinds of these excuses. So we should always try that if we do have any excuses, it should be excusable excuses and not petty ones or ones that are following our whims and our abased self. Um, the fourth element is that is, relieve me of uh, the thumb, the sin, and the wizard, the burden. We explained burden at the start of the video, but the thumb, as we said in previous videos, it can be taken as a cloth or as a tail. So want, we want the relief from that tail that it must just fall off and then not follow us anywhere. All these clothes to change them, to take them off and give us new ones so that we are not judged by our previous sins and the burden as well that the burden of our sins of what we have committed not for us to travel everywhere with um, for the lack of a better metaphor with sins drawn on our foreheads for everyone to see no rather want to be free from them and that's why in the mantra we beseech God Almighty we say oh the one who is kind to his sincere servants, Ya Ra'ufam bi Abadihis Salihin. The condition is that you should be good, uh, you should be righteous, and then you will des uh, deserve the kindness and uh, um, the love of God Almighty. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu ala Muhammadin wa alihi al-Tahirin.